live from Studio 30. Isang 96 years old Australian bank magsisimula ng mag-offer ng crypto investment services sa tulong ng Bitpanda. Ang Russia na ngayon ay pumapangalawa na sa United States bilang pinakamalaking Bitcoin miner. Umabot na sa $6 billion ang Bitcoin holdings ng United States of America. Isa pang global payment giant na mag expand na kanilang payment network sa paikipag-partner sa mga crypto firms. Ang Samsung naman ay naikipag-partner din sa isang crypto company para sa optimize Z-Fold crypto trading. Nagdagdag naman ang Binance ng mga AI-powered Sensei chatbot sa kanilang Crypto Academy. At sa ating good side this week, in the United States, sa kauna-una ang pagkakataon, maaari na kayong bumili at magbenta ng real estate with crypto sa kanilang Bitcoin property marketplace. Tutunghayan din natin ang iba't ibang mga kaganapan na trending at upcoming sa loob ng Web3. Lahat ng yan and more dito lang sa Web3 Chronicles! Magandang gabi, Middle East and the rest of Asia. Good evening din sa Europe and a very good morning naman sa ating mga kaibigan sa kabilang panig ng mundo, the United States of America. Welcome, Welcome to, to Web3 Chronicles! Chronicles. Yeah. We got the breaking news as always, partner. Breaking news! Robinhood hacker steals Russian crypto funds at ibinigay sa mga taga-Ukraine. Ayon nga sa ilang mga crypto experts, isang hacker ang nag-transfer ng mga stolen Bitcoin sa mga addresses ng ilang mga Ukrainian volunteers. Ang hacker ay nakakuha ng access sa hundreds of crypto wallets na pag-aari ng ilang mga Russian law enforcement agencies. Nag-iwan naman ang hacker ng isang mensahe sa owners ng mga wallets na nagsasabing ang mga wallets nila ay tumulong sa mga hackers working for Russia. Wow. We had like a news about this no? two or three weeks ago about Robin Hood crypto people. And now we have one that is actually stealing funds for the benefit of people. And what do you, what, what do you think about that? Ito lang masasabi ko ha. I feel bad for yung mga may pera na nakawan kasi pinaghirapan nila yung pagmiminan ng mga cryptocurrency na yan. Pero at the same time, I feel really good kasi nakakatulong si Robin Hood dun sa, yung Robin Hood ng crypto dun sa mga tao na less fortunate. Isa pang breaking news sa India naman, isang 40-year-old na lalaki ang inabdak matapos mapansin ng investor niya na nade-delay ang return sa kanilang investment. Sa loob ng 3 months ay nakakatanggap sila ng monthly refunds in the form of cryptocurrency. Ngunit habang tumatagal ay nade-delay ang mga ito. Unang dinala ang lalaki sa isang hotel tapos dinala naman siya sa isang undisclosed farmhouse kung saan sapitan siyang pinapirma ng document ng kanyang flat at knife point. You only see these types of scenarios in events, no? As in mga thriller movies ang ito nangyayari. Yes. Now it's happening in real life. So I think the lesson here is please deal with legit exchanges only. Try not to deal with anything that is now mafia or yakuza related. Yeah. And if you set up a business deal, please do deliver. And, and hindi lang mga gobyerno natin ngayon ang nag a sa cryptocurrency, pati nang ang mga mafia. That's absolutely <laughs> so, right. Lahat. Take care, guys. It's my breaking news not in this week. Moonpay has officially launched ang kanyang app in over 130 countries. Ang MoonPay app ay tumutulong sa mga users na mag-manage ng multiple crypto wallets with hundreds of cryptocurrencies to choose from. Pabibilisin din ito ang mass adoption ng Web3 by bringing brands, creators, and users together through end-to-end -end experiences. Available ang app on both Google Play and the Apple App Store. Sobrang cool ng MoonPay na guys because you, you have a lot of people just using Binance. Yes, mainly. that's correct. And now you have this kind of exchange where you could literally utilize multiple wallets, mm -hmm. buy and sell multiple cryptocurrencies. So, mapapabilis alin ito ang Web3 adoption yes, for a lot definitely. of people. MoonPay is doing something na pwedeng, pwede, ka nang, pwede, pwede na silang mag, lag, mag collaborate sa iba't ibang exchanges. At the same time, pwede, ka, pwede mo na rin gamitin yung MoonPay as a platform to trade your cryptocurrencies. That's absolutely right. Ngayon naman ay simulan na natin ang balita dito sa Web3 Chronicles with our Take 3!
Simulan natin ang ating take 3 sa balitang isang 96 years old na Australian Cooperative Bank na nag operate sa Lower Austria and Vienna at isa sa pinakamalaking banking group sa Central at Eastern Europe ang magsisimula na mag-offer ng crypto investment services sa tulong ng Bitpanda, isang cryptocurrency exchange and brokerage based sa Vienna. Wow! So, imagine, itong mga matatandang banko na to, nag a na rin talaga sila sa cryptocurrency. Ikaw, partner, kung ikaw isang investor, tapos nalaman mo itong balitang to, anong, anong mga implications to sa pag invest mo? This particular Austrian bank right here, as in, I don't even know how to pronounce the name, but it's, 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 a, it's part of the RBI group, okay? It starts with an R. But the really cool thing here is, even though they've been in the banking industry for close to a hundred years now, yes. they're wanting to adopt into the blockchain space, Web3 decentralized everything. So what this tells us is, if they're doing it now, you should do it too. Yes, definitely. Pumapangalawa na ngayon ang Russia sa United States bilang pinakamalaking Bitcoin miner. Ito ay dahil na rin sa paglalagay ng US ng tax at regulation sa crypto mining na naging daan para maging less welcoming ang crypto environment dito. Every single week, no, meron na tayong balita sa mga BRICS nations regarding yes. crypto. And now you have Russia who is in second place. Well, ang US kasi, nilagyan na naman 30% tax ang crypto. Yeah. So, talagang malaki yung magiging epekto nun sa, sa performance ng crypto trading, lalo na ng Bitcoin sa bansa nila. Yeah, so if the US continues to put all these heavy regulations on their crypto spaces, then all these other nations are gonna take the forefront yeah, that's correct. in the Web3 space. At rounding up, our Take 3 this week, umabot naman sa $6 billion ang Bitcoin holdings ng United States of America. Um, partner, ang masasabi ko lang dito, they've been confiscating cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin matagal na. Absolutely. Tapos, tapos binebenta nila ito kagad. Ewan ko lang kung ano ba, wala ba silang naisip na discarte to sell the Bitcoin at a higher price. Pero ang gina- ano papansin ko ang ginagawa nila, once sabat nila yung Bitcoin, they sell it. Yeah, that's what everyone's been thinking about all of this time. I said, the US government, even if they have $6 billion, they're just gonna sell it off. <laughs> like, pretty soon. I don't know why they would do that, especially since the entire world is adopting into cryptocurrency, but let's see what the United States does. Yeah. Yan ang ilang mga balitang sinubaybayan sa mundo ng Web3 this past week. Ngayon naman ay silipin natin ang ilang mga kaganapan sa loob ng Web3. Narito ang ating Spotlight! Para sa ating Spotlight this week, global payment giant Mastercard ay mag expand ng kanilang payment network sa pakikipag-partner sa mga crypto firms. List, literally, this is just coming from our news from last week, no? Visa, Visa. and now Mastercard. Yes. We don't have to say anything else about that. Just know that these credit card companies, these really big credit card companies, they're now adopting into cryptocurrencies. Yes. So you better get on the hype train. Samantala, tech giant na Samsung ay nakapag-partner sa Crypto.com para sa mas optimized version ng app nito sa mga Galaxy Z Fold devices. Ang update ay may enhanced crypto trading and analysis experience para sa mga users ng nasabing mobile phones. Talagang hindi magpapahuli din talaga ang Samsung, ano? Yeah. Kasi, di ba, yeah, remember te- Tesla? Yeah, that was just last week yeah. too. Ay, yung Z Fold, yun ba yung nagagano yeah. na Absolutely. Samsung device? Okay. It's really good. Sa- Samsung <laughs> saying like, if you could afford these phones, then absolutely you could also afford to do crypto. So they're now implementing all these apps and developments and de- on these devices. Yes. So correct. good job, Samsung. Rounding up our spotlight this week, nagdagdag ang Binance sa mga AI-powered Sensei chatbots sa kanilang Crypto Academy. Umaasa ang Binance na magbubus ito ng kanilang crypto education engagements. Wow, ewan ko kung anong mararamdaman ko dito, partner. Pero knowing AI... Alam kong um, pwede itong kumuha ng information sa atin in the near future. So, para sa akin, medyo natatakot ako dito sa ginawa ng Binance na to. Ikaw, para yeah, sa Yeah, absolutely. That is its own pros and cons. So, pros, yeah, you're gonna have more education for all people mm-hmm. who want to get into crypto trading. And then the con is that AI <laughs> is what you're dealing with. We already know what AI could, will, would, can't do, and all that. Basta, we're not sure as well what Binance is thinking, but here we are. We now have the Sensei chatbot. Samantala, tingnan naman natin ngayon ang mga paggalaw ng market sa loob ng Cryptoverse. Here's this week's The Rundown! Inaasaan bababa ang profits ng meta ni Mark Zuckerberg as it pivots to AI. Ito rin ay matapos ang loss nila ng $14 billion last year at ang pagbabawas nila ng mga employees naman this year. 
everyone's scared of AI right now. And a lot of people are also very excited about AI. But now there's proof that a lot of investors are pulling out of Meta because, dude, Mark Zuckerberg is really heading into the AI space right now. Gusto niya mamuhay na tayo sa Metaverse. And what better true. way to bring ourselves into the Metaverse than with AI? No, that's what Mark Zuckerberg thinks. That's so, correct. Everybody just watch out for that. Samantala, matapos ang two days ng pagpasok nito, umangat sa 900% bagong cryptocurrency player na Pepe Coin. Ang market capitalization nito ay tumaas mula zero to nearly 100 million sa loob lamang ng isang linggo. Partner, ewan ko lang ha, Pepe Coin is sinasabi nila na it is, it is a scam. Pero... Here we are, 900% yeah. in profits. Tapos na siguro ang age ng mga aso, <laughs> like the dogs. Like Dogecoin and Shiba is really good, but Pepe Coin is a game changer. Eh, wala lang. Let's see. This is a meme coin, pero we make money from meme coins, right? Yep. It's a finance sector fallout event kung saan may iging default ang US bilang standoff sa papataas ng borrowing limits. Ay maari magdala sa Bitcoin sa fifty thousand dollars by the end of twenty twenty three. Part na itaka lang. Sumakay na lang tayo lahat. Dahil, yeah. ngayon 2023 pa lang, bagbag mga tapos, $50,000. Next year, pwede itong maging $100,000. So, this is very important news, mga ano, ha, partner. Okay. Kapag hindi tinaas ng US ang debt limits nila, it's always a comfortable time for mm. ano eh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Kapag hindi okay <laughs> yung US in anything. Because cryptocurrency has always been a safe haven when the banks are not doing well. So, watch out ha. Sumakay na lang kayo. Sinabi na ni partner Adrian yan. <laughs> Alamin naman natin ngayon ang ilang mga parating na events as we look at what's coming up. Yes! Aabangan ng marami in two months ang bubuoying crypto bill in the U.S. Financial Services Committee and House Agriculture Committee. Layunin ng bill na ito ang mag-oversee ng kanilang crypto sector. Inaabangan din ng marami sa Cryptoverse ang paparating na Metaverse Entertainment World Summit and Award Show. Sa darating na May, ito ay gaganapin sa Monaco at dadaluhin ng innovators, creators at mga industry leaders na nakapag-contribute sa evolution ng cryptocurrency. At para sa mga fans ng Star Trek, inaabangan din naman ang paglabas ni William Shatner, Captain James siya ng Star Trek. Nang sarili niyang NFT collectibles, binubuo ng dalawang collections, ang Cosmic Explorer and Thomas Voyager with 2,500 and 1,000 NFT respectively. Can, wow! Can I just say that's gonna be a big bang? There are way too many... <laughs> uh, <laughs> there are way too many Star Trek fans all over the yes. world. So, abangan niyo yan, ha? Those are exclusive William Shatner NFT collectibles. Iyan ang ilang mga kaabang-abang sa mga darating na araw sa Cryptoverse. Ngayon naman, let's flip over down... The Good Side! For the Good Side this week, sa kauna-aun ng US Bitcoin Property Marketplace, maaari na kayong bumili ng property gamit ang inyong mga cryptocurrencies. Mga properties sa US state ng Texas ang unang magiging available sa platform na ito. This is a very welcome development no? kasi sa real estate industry, they're now opening the possibility to, you could just yeah. buy a house with no money. Like, no cash. It's Cryptocurrency just, lang. Like, isang Bitcoin, ibili mo ng condo. Yeah, imagine yeah. if you put 10,000 US dollars on the Pepe coin. And, and you, oh my God, Pepe coin na naman. Yeah, thank you for <laughs> bringing me a house, Pepe coin. Yeah. At ayan ang ilang run-up ng ilang mga balita at kaganapan sa loob ng Web3. Ako po si Adrian. At ako naman po si Sheprod. Makita-kita tayong muli next Friday as we give you what's trending and what's coming up. Dito lang sa inyong bagong pagkakatiwalaan pagdating sa Web3 News and Happenings. Web3 Chronicles! Oh my god! You can go buy a house!